at night, I watch people fucking on my computer. Nobody can see me looking anyway. I don't really think I am a musician. And I think that's, um, that's one of the things that is me, I guess. I wanted to be a writer, so I was writing stories as soon as I could write. Um, and then I was playing instruments too, and I guess I started recording at some point in my youth, but um, to me it wasn't about being in a band or performing music, it was more about uh, doing something that wasn't about playing well or um, even writing good songs, it was just about exploring things. So I guess that's been a key thing for me, and also recording. I mean, I've, I'm in a generation where it, it kind of all started becoming very possible to record digitally. And so I was thinking of myself maybe more as a writer and producer. And that sort of taught me how to sing because I needed to write something first and then have the words and then learn how to sing it or express it. Like a burnt out match I used to write um, dreams and I used to write the end, like if I didn't like the ending of a book I would keep writing it. Okay. So when I was reading a book and I didn't like the ending, there would be like a pen pencil writ handwritten mm -hmm. um, continuation by me in it. So that's I guess um, just quite, quite free. Um, you found you found music as a, as a way to express something you have to say. You, you can feel like like not a musician, but you you use music to express yeah. something. So it's it's like like a tool yeah, to express. Yeah. I mean, it's like a lot of visual artists use various techniques to express something that they would still call visual arts. Mm -hmm. um, I feel like that a little bit with music. Like I'm doing something more undefinable, okay. but I'm using pop music to express something. Um, that doesn't mean that I'm less of a pop musician mm -hmm. uh, than other people, but it's just I've kind of come from like the long way around, um, not thinking about it as I want to be a pop star or I want to be a musician even. Okay, so you have, yeah, you, your music has actually a really peculiar way to 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 come out um, like the way you 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 draw your vocals the things you say it's something really peculiar so you found like a like a, a, a known character to 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 Jenny Val or it's like just you or I don't know I think it's always like that a mix I think that uh, it was easier for me to float between something very honest and something that's trying on different personas when I started performing and writing in English which I kind of always did but I was studying writing in Australia which meant that all my writing had to be in English oh, nice. and so I used music as a way of um, exploring on the side of school kind of okay. exploring things I was learning about and I was kind of embarrassed about it because the music I've I was making was very simple compared to the, the complex philosophy and, and poetry and, and stuff that I was studying. So I didn't quite understand and see the value of that at that time, that's like 12, 13 years ago. Uh, but I think it was a nice mix of something very simple and emotional and something that was trying to like deal with very complex thoughts. And um, from that also it was natural to not just see my voice as a simple, it's just me. I mean, I find it very difficult to say what is just me, because why the just? You know, no, no person is just. Yeah, of course, and, and about about your music explores something something 
really strong about about woman and and about like I guess like a woman f f really strong feeling innocence in Skinky and actually Apocalypse Girl explores as well. Um, it's something that you, you you feel comfortable writing about. It's something that I'm very. I think it's very necessary to explore gender. I also think that. Um, the way that, especially this last album, has been received, it seems that even more men than women have responded to it. So I actually can safely say that I'm not exploring. I'm exploring gender fluidity, I think, which seems to, for, for the people who enjoy that, that, my music, it seems to be sort of key for them as well. So it doesn't matter so much, thankfully, the, you know, the, the gender of whoever's listening. Um, it's more about the fluidity, like, you know, what music can do. Music can make you um, express yourself differently than the everyday. And so I think it can also make you express your gender. I think the, um, the danger in talking too much about expressing the... the, the feelings or theories of a woman is that it pretty quickly seems like I'm writing in a limited, for a limited audience, which is not okay. my intention. Yeah. I know it's kind of hard to talk about, it's hard to ask good questions mm -hmm. with that too for you as a journalist, because it's, it's, it's often misread as, some, as something that's very limiting, you know, like with um, when you talk about novels about being a woman, it seems to always then be uninteresting for male readers. And you care a lot about 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 video and about yeah, like visuals yeah. for your music. It's yeah. it's something that, that you think like uh, at the same time like song and sound line, landscapes and a video for 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 like explain everything or something. Well, I work with. Um, a video director that I just find extremely interesting. So I don't really do anything. I just say, <laughs> you do whatever you want. Well. Um, that's very important to me to let other people interpret or make something that's not even an interpretation, but something that clicks with the music. I, I definitely think that a collaboration like that is like some kind of key thing to doing something interesting. If I hadn't had that kind of close relationship with someone um, working with video, I don't think that it would have been necessary. <laughs>